Welcome everyone to Call in the Wild. Um, so recently I took a poll, and uh, the poll was uh, to determine the next video. Was I going to do a Bigfoot Sasquatch story, or was I going to do something on the paranormal ghost kind of thing, whatever? I had a lot of interest on both, but the uh, paranormal side won. Um, I was intending to go to uh, one of my favorite places in Burke County, but I decided that just with the weather being nasty and then had a technical difficulties with my truck that that was probably not the best thing to do this weekend. So maybe I might try again next weekend. Um, as far as the Bigfoot Sasquatch stuff goes, people are, I've heard people said, uh, have said that, you know, oh, it's just a man in a costume or whatever. They don't exist. Okay, well, we can start talking about the tracks. We can start talking about, uh, trees being twisted, knocked over, or place some pl where, where there's just no rhyme or reason for it to be that way other than something had to put it there. Yeah, we can get past all that, but here's the thing. If something don't exist, then how can we have its DNA? Every time that uh, they have tested the DNA on some of this stuff, um, on these things, on these, on these Bigfoot creatures, they come back on the female side, human, male side, unknown ape. So, wrap your mind around that a minute. Um, if you're interested in that topic, I said, su I suggest you go to, uh, uh, Scott Carpenter's channel or how to hunt dot com uh, with Steve Isdall. He, they could talk about the, about Bigfoot Sasquatch all day long. They get tens of thousands of emails every day, every minute on the topic. Um, but check them out. Um, as for the paranormal stories, what better place to be than a paranormal hotspot? Yeah, you're in one right now. Yeah, I've been here for probably four years now, and the house I'm living in, well, the trailer I'm living in, uh, it, it's a hot spot. Um, how do I live here with these things, with these uh, paranormal beings? This, I don't really give them much attention. Um, stuff happens things go bump in the night all the time um just because you hear a bump or a rattle or something doesn't necessarily mean that it's something paranormal doesn't mean it's not um i have seen stuff heard stuff um in, at various times just unexpectedly and I'm not you know one to sit there and try to make something happen or poke around but there's stuff that that's going on that is bigger than you and me I can't explain it I don't try to I just know that stuff happens um And with that being said, for my next video, as soon as I can have the time and the equipment to go and uh, talk about some of this stuff, I mean, I'm, I'm working on it. That's why these videos had not been coming in as fast. I apologize for that. Uh, when I'm not doing videos, I'm usually at work. So we're working on something and just hadn't had the time to so just stick with me it's coming 
Um, there will be more hunting stories later. There will be more of the stuff of the same topics that I've been promising you guys. The reason I titled this this channel is Calling the Wild is because I'm calling it. It's basically like if you're calling like um, if you're hunting deer, coyotes, wolves, moose, elk, anything of that nature. Um, this channel's for you. Um, as far as elk and moose hunts go, though, um, probably more than likely never going to happen on this channel. But if you have a story or would like, you know, something to share, just message me or, you know, whatever. If you have my Facebook page, you know how to get there. Um, what else is there? Um, but yeah, we'll be, we'll be talking about turkeys, hunt, turkey hunting here soon. Um, I'm planning on going this year, so, um, just, like I said, stick with, stick around, bear with me. More content's coming, just, it's just gonna take a little time. Excuse me. But, um, yeah, that's all I got, so, uh, keep in touch, y'all. Behave, and thanks again.